Hi, I'm Jared Gallagher, partner Ernst & Young, and I head of markets for UK and Ireland Advisory. To talk about opportunity number six, which is investing in clean tech, I'm joined by our partner Steve Lang. Steve is our leader for clean tech here in the UK and Ireland, and he's spending a lot of time helping clients understand the opportunity to drive competitive advantage through this opportunity. Hi Steve. Hi Jared. Steve, investing in clean tech comes in at number six in their top ten opportunities. Can you tell me a little bit more about the opportunity? Yeah, sure. I think it's first important to understand what, what clean yeah. tech actually represents because it's quite a confusing and broad area. We see clean tech as really the primary enabler for the transition to a low carbon, more resource efficient economy. Investment levels in clean tech over the last few years have been rising steeply uh -huh. and are at around I think 243 billion in 2010. So a massive amount of capital going into enabling that shift. Oh, yeah. As that transition to a low carbon economy gathers momentum, it creates risks and opportunities for business in a number of quite important ways. Uh -huh. First of all, it creates new markets for products and services. It impacts the business models and the value chains of certain organizations. But it also creates a means by which businesses can improve efficiency, productivity, security of energy supply. And what we see is these issues are becoming uh, much more relevant now, particularly as energy prices become more volatile, as questions are raised about around energy security, yeah. and as transparency and scrutiny of uh, businesses' impact on the environment um, increases. So looking at the our organizations here, we're looking at this area. Yeah. What are the top three things that they're you know, being challenged with as they try to access this opportunity? Yeah, I think, I think, that's, I think that's right. Yeah. And there are a number of important challenges. One, I, I think, is the, uh, the breadth of clean tech itself. It's quite a confusing, uh -huh. all-encompassing definition. And I think you've got a significant number of organizations that will acknowledge the opportunity, but they can't quite understand the shape of that opportunity. Yeah. Whereas the leaders have already mapped that out, they understand which new products and services they want to move into and how they can adopt clean technologies to sure. improve cost base. I think there's also a challenge in terms of capital. So whilst capital is coming into the sector, the businesses in a capital constrained world can often find it quite difficult to justify investments uh, okay. yeah, in yeah, yeah. emerging technologies that carry a degree of technology yeah. risk. There's probably a third factor, which is a question mark around whether the public uh, and the consumer population are really demanding on mass more eco-friendly products and services. And I don't think we've yet reached that tipping point, particularly where there's a price premium. Uh -huh. There isn't yet that level of demand, although we expect it will come in the next yeah. few years. So are you, I suspect you're probably seeing winners and losers. What would be the common attributes of the winners and those that are being successful in going after this? Yeah, we see, we see a number of themes. I think the, the real pioneers in this area have placed clean technology right at the heart of their innovation strategy uh -huh. and indeed are branding around it, branding their whole organisations around it. You see that happening a lot in the technology yeah. and smart space yeah. where the yeah. whole corporate yeah. branding is around, is around smart yeah. energy. Uh, a number of businesses are setting up corporate venturing arms, so specific units to make clean technology investments, joint ventures and partnerships with clean technology mm -hmm. businesses. They're also looking very hard at energy mix and energy mix optimization and how clean technologies can be adopted yeah. to increase security of energy supply and, uh, and reduce costs and increase energy efficiency. Okay. So as you're spending time advising clients and organizations around this issue, Steve, what are the top three things they, they really need to be asking themselves? What are the top questions they need to be thinking about? I think that if we, if we look at what the leaders in this, in this space yeah. have done, I think the first question would be, how does clean technology impact our traditional business okay. model? Yeah. If you look at certain sectors, there's a much more fundamental impact. Power and utilities who are looking at green energy in the mix and how they can shift to becoming energy services providers, yeah. what the impact of uh, micro-generation might be and distributed generation, fundamental impacts on the business model. We see also similar things in the transport sector, with yeah. the electrification of transport, and to a degree in the real estate sector where carbon emissions uh -huh. are, are a critical factor. So the first question I think is, what's the impact on traditional business models and which new markets are opened up? The second question then is, what's the opportunity to innovate existing products and services yeah. to reach yeah. new markets and create demand in, in new ways there? And then thirdly, what's the extent to which we could adopt clean technologies into our production, into our operations to increase uh, okay. efficiency and productivity. Very helpful. So what are the next steps for, for people watching this, uh, this video, Steve? I think the immediate next steps would be to read the report. I mean, there's yeah. quite a lot of information yeah. in the report there about 
what the precise nature of this okay. opportunity is. So that would be a good first port of yep. call. I think as a second port of call for organisations that are really trying to think through and yep. understand the nature of this opportunity, I'd recommend they contact us and, uh, and speak to one of our team. Great. Steve, thanks for joining me today. Pleasure. Thank you.